Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Patrol Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Patrol. In this next video, I'm going to show you how to use the bar face function. This is used for machining in the X direction, opposed to the Z direction when you're turning. Alright, let's get started. All right, here's our sample part. We're going to be machining in the X down direction instead of machining in the Z direction. This is useful for large diameter parts that have a very shallow face. So the first thing we need to do is create a new program. Go to Program, Program File, and select a work number that's not listed up here. I'm going to select work number 20. Go back to program, work number 20, input. If this is a new program, push the program button. And Mazatrol, or EIA, we're going with Mazatrol. Workpiece material, we're going to say it's aluminum, just for ease of use. Max outer diameter, we're going to say it's 8 inch diameter. Inside diameter, we're going to say it's 0 on this workpiece. And the workpiece length, we'll give it uh, four inches. Max spindle limit, let's say 2,000 RPM. Finish allowance on X, let's say 10 thousandths on X and 5 thousandths on Z. And then on this example, we're not gonna face anything off the part. So we're gonna leave the stock removal at zero. So the first thing we do is turn on the coolant with the three arrows. M code, coolant on. And now here's our bar face menu. We're going to select bar. And we're going to select the open face, the open geometry. Here, cutting point on X is 8 inches. Cutting point on Z is 0. So this is 8 inch diameter, and this is our face of 0, and our cutting point is going to be right here. Auto the feeds and speeds. Now let's crank up the depth of cut. So now the first thing we're going to do is create a taper on here. And I'm going to say it's two inches back. So taper, starting corner, starting point on X is eight inches, starting point on Z is two inches. And we're going to say this point down here is uh, three inch diameter. We're just throwing numbers in here. And zero on the face. And surface finish is 7, shape end, and end. So this is our program. Right button, figure check. Scale, store. So let's zoom this up. So now that looks similar to what we just programmed. So now let's go and go to the program check screen, check continue, and it's going to be facing the part instead of turning. So on this example, we're done with that one. I want to show you three different examples. So this is the second example I wanted to show you, where it's coming down the face, and then we're going to cut into the face, radius, and then out.
So we're going to erase this area. And then just create it over again. So bar face. And we don't need to select the closed geometry because we're coming down the face into the part. So again, 8 inch diameter. And I'm going to have to adjust the tool geometry because I don't have a tool in the machine that can cut this geometry. So let's do that right now. So let's go over to tool data, tool file, and we're running tool 16. So we're going to change the 80 degree to a 35 degree. And that should take care of what we want to do. So the first thing we're going to do is do a linear motion downward. And we're going to chamfer the top. So I'm going to give this about a 6 inch diameter here. And back about, let's say, half inch. Number seven, and we're going to say a taper continue. Now we're going to go back to this position, and I'm going to give this about a three inch diameter, and I'm going to go back from here, let's say about 1.25. So there's our part now. I need to change this a little bit. It's got too big of a radius in there. All right, that looks a little better. And program check, check continue. And there's our second example all the way down. Looks just like the part. So now this next example, we're going to start here on, the, on a bore and then face upward. So let's change the ID minimum to two inches. And we're gonna say bar face again, but instead of eight inch diameter, we're going to face from the inside coming up like so. So two inches, starting point in zero. And then linear, give it a 20 thousandths chamfer right here. shortened up a little. Now 
Yeah, that looks closer to the picture. And program check, check continue. So now it's going to be facing from the bore going up. Anyway, this is a fairly short video. I don't have a lot of machining going on in it. I just wanted to show you the three examples I had right now. And that's all I got for you today for bar facing. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. If you guys found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel and gets YouTube to share this video with more people. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching.